All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Everyone, let me get my buttons right. There we go. Welcome, everybody, to the first ever episode five of Exchange Games Live. My name is Mark Matthews, as always. You know, I'm a U.S. Army veteran and a social media designer here at the Exchange and resident gamer. And today we have had a, we have a treat for you guys. So I'm pleased to be here. Um, we have a great game. We're going to be playing uh, Minecraft Dungeons, which is the two-year anniversary of this game. I saw something that popped up. So if you have kids and they're obsessed with Minecraft and you want to play something with them but you just don't know what, I want to just give your attention to, uh, to some Minecraft Dungeons. It's not quite Minecraft, but it's not quite like a, uh, not quite like a Diablo or something like that. But it's a great game. It has great co-op. I wish I had I wish I had friends and I could show that off with you all. So, but before we get into that, guys, remember we always have those fantastic links every week in the show, and this week is no exception. Um, we have a, a a ton of them actually, so it's gonna be hard to go through all of them. But LG TVs again are insane. Um, we have sound bars, you know, the Apple. Every week we got something from Apple on here, so check that out. Uh, some really great HP laptops. Um, gaming monitors are still up there again, still on sale, um, and we have a ton, a ton. There must be there must be 15 different headphones here um, from Lucid Sound. So please check them out. I've used them before. They're fantastic headphones. Um, they come from in a variety of different um, price ranges too. So you have your low end and your high end there. So be sure and check those out if you're in the, if you're in need of any kind of headphones. Uh, also new new to the show, um, GoPro. We have some fantastic GoPro deals, GoPro accessories, as well as um, the Fujifilm Instamax mini camera. So again, there's a lot of great gift opportunities there. Uh, Father's Day is just in a couple weeks. Hint, hint to my kids out there if they're watching. Uh, so we have some great stuff out there. So keep this in mind. Remember, um, go to uh, Vet Verify uh, to get verified so you're able to get your account. That's shopmyexchange.com slash vet. And then you'll be able to... If you already have an account, then pass that link along. But if not, um, go there, get account. If you served in the military at any given time, there's no statute of limitations on that. Get verified, get your account, and, and get that benefit that you earned with that tax-free shipping with great deals. And like I said, you also get a um, military star card. You can apply for one of those. And there's always free shipping on a military star card. Um, and then free shipping on anything over $50. All right. All right, do we do we pay the bills with that one? I think so. I think we got it all there. So this, what we're playing today, again, is uh, Minecraft Dungeons. Let me get it open here. There we go. I had to start it up to check the levels and everything. I have not played this yet. I'm looking very forward to it. Um, but this is kind of like a Diablo clone. Anybody that's out there that is a gamer and knows anything about um, what a Diablo clone is, it's uh, very much more in the lines of... Uh, if you guys paid attention to when we played Tiny Tina's Borderland or Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, it's more in the vein of that, where you go around, you you get loot, you get better weapons, you get better armor, you make your character better, you get more abilities, and you go through the game that way. Um, so it has more in common, even though it may look like it may have more in common with like a uh, Star Wars, uh, the Skywalker saga by aesthetics, but it really has more in common with a uh, Diablo or a, a Borderlands type game. Um, so with that. Make sure I can, I'm not even looking at comments. Let's see what's going on in the comments real quick before we start. All right. Hello, Julie. What's going on, Stan? How are y'all? Stan just picked him up a... Wish they'd get more new Legos. I'm a big Lego guy. Scooped up an LG OLED. Stan. Stan with the OLED. I, I tell you, I, there is a big difference. I don't know if you guys... There was a long period in time with TVs where, like, when we went from, we did that big jump from, like, CRT TVs to, like, flat screen TVs, and they went from 720 to 1080, and then they went 1080i, 1080p, then you went to, then you did the big jump to 4K, and now they have 8K. I'm telling you, from, for my money, those OLED TVs are intense, are insane. So, good job. Good purchase there, Stan. Can't be mad. Can't be mad at you. All right. So, let's get this game started. Let's get this game started. All right, we've got to pick a character. You know we're looking for someone with a beard. Oh, you guys, oh, in it. 
I hope I, I, I forgot to wish everyone. I hope everyone had a fantastic Memorial Day weekend in honor of Memorial Day weekend. Check this out. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Look at that. So, I, I, I trade it out just for this week only. This is my normal go-to. It's just a normal black one. But I'm like, you know what? Special occasions. And this is also at the exchange. So, I don't know if they still have them, but that's where I got it. All right, let's see here. We're looking for anybody with a beard. I see ball. I mean, I mean, that's pretty perfect, right? I mean, that's pretty great. That's me in a nutshell right there. That's me in a nutshell. Okay. Well, let's get going. Offline game. We'll go ahead and play an offline. So, again, I hope everyone had a fantastic uh, Memorial Day weekend. I hope you took the chance to uh, pause for just a moment the to uh, realize why we all no had that three-day weekend. Um, I know I did. I try on every every holiday, like you know, if we're off or not. You always want to take those, those, those few moments just to pause and appreciate path. The ones that came before us. And Memorial Day is probably like the holiday I take Make more haste. seriously than, than, than any of the rest. And I know they all have their own merits, but Memorial Day has a special uh, special meaning with me, as I'm sure it does with uh, most of the people watching. Uh, so I did take my, my 10, 15 minutes just to kind of reflect and to remember. And uh, I hope you guys did too. But we had a tremendously busy weekend. Uh, all right, let me, let me get going here. and we'll, I'll finish my story here in a second. Okay, so we move around here. A button is going to be all right. Not hard, not hard. So we actually had a we had we had t three parties this weekend on three different days. So it started on Friday uh, with a birthday. We had a birthday party. Smoked six racks of ribs. They were uh, my best so far. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Smoked six racks of ribs on the Traeger and smoked some macaroni and cheese. We did two batches of smoked mac and cheese. I don't know if you've ever had smoked mac and cheese. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. They're about to. They're about to get. If they ever. If I ever stop this exchange game live thing, I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to at least make a guest appearance on like a chef. On like a chef show or something. Just uh. Just do a Traeger. Just do a Traeger live stream. Uh. So we smoked six racks of ribs. We did two things of uh, smoked mac and cheese, and then had my uh, my good buddy. Christine and her husband Matt, you all know Matt, he came over, smoked some huge two-inch ribeyes on the on the smoker and then finished them off in a cast iron with a cast iron sear with a little garlic, a little garlic and herb butter. It's fantastic. And we smoked an apple pie. So that was good. So that was party two. And then we had an impromptu party. Uh, on on Memorial Day and uh, the girlfriend's uh, uh, mom and brother and some kids came over and, and, and we did some uh, we did we just did some burgers all of it on the all of it on the tray smoked everything this weekend so gonna have to gonna have to make sure I give the uh, give the trigger a good rest and a good uh, a good cleanup too I probably should have done this weekend but I was I was about wore out by it so smoking meats that's right Ryan smoking meats. It was, a, it was a big weekend for it. It's a big weekend for smoking meats. So I I would love to hear what how y'all's weekend went. Did you guys have any plans? Any big parties? All right, all right. So we're collecting emeralds. I'm guessing at some point that's going to be used to uh, purchase either weapons or abilities or, or or something. And you know what else I you know what else I missed? You know we missed last week, but you know with this I forgot to introduce. Uh, Shelly Johnson. Shelly Johnson, she's in the she's in the she's in chat. Doing the mods. So if you guys have any questions that you know I don't know the answer to, don't be afraid to ask them. Shelly's got the answers. So make sure you uh post any questions you have, video game related, exchange related, whatever you got. We'll 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 track it down. We'll get the answers for you. Alright, so we got some more arrows. Heels over so we don't need that. Because we're not hurt, because we're the best to ever do it. Alright. Guess we're heading down. So, like I said, this game is fantastic. If you, I mean, like I said, the aesthetic of it is different. But if you have kids and you like, you just, you just don't, you want to play something with them, and you just don't have the stomach to get involved in all that is Minecraft. Um, this is a fantastic way to do it. Um, it plays really well in. Um, it plays really well in co-op. Um, 
it's not that difficult. It does get difficult, but like I said, it does a good job of uh, kind of teaching you how to play along the way. Great tutorial system. So we've leveled up. Let's see, what do we do to level up? Let's see, I, I don't know how this works. So, enchant gear. Select an item on your gear that you want to enchant. So, I'm guessing, I mean, I guess... I guess we'll do the sword, because we're using it the most. We'll hit Y. Attack drains your life to grant one stack of pain. At five stacks, your pain is channeled into your next attack. Well, you know what? As fun as that sounds, every game I've ever played where you have to use your health as a resource, I've been just absolutely awful at it. So let's try not to hurt ourselves at the at the extent of uh, at the, at the extent of a little more damage. I think we can I think we can probably uh, bob and weave a little bit. All right, let's keep going. But so me and my uh, me and my son, we played this like I said years ago when it first came out, uh, and it gets pretty intense. Um, we need to equip that. Okay. So this is like a firework arrow. So it gets a little intense uh, as you get, but like I said, it does a really good job of kind of slowly getting you into it. All right. And like I said, this is just a tutorial area. We shouldn't be getting hit at all, but, um, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, Emily! Oh, there goes... There goes Marty. There goes Marty. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. I'm glad you stopped by. Yeah, 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 yeah. If Susan's around, yeah, she definitely needs to get Elijah on here. Elijah could be my, uh, he, could, he could teach me how to play Minecraft for sure, I, I bet. Anybody under the age of, like, 15 could probably teach me how to play Minecraft better than I know how to play Minecraft. I mean, I understand it. I know you, uh, I know you punch the trees to get the wood, you get the wood <laughs> to, to, to make the cabin. Uh, but that's about the extent of it. You were too late I've seen to people in Minecraft, like, I think back in the day, and I know this is probably, They're still like, out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. But I think they made like a fully working like computer or calculator or something in Minecraft using like redstone or something. It, it was it was intense. So, Emily, you've been waiting all day for this, all day. Oh my goodness, all day, just to see just to see me struggle along, playing some Minecraft. Got a fishing rod? I have no idea. So that's rare. The trusted companion of any true adventurer. The fishing rod is useful for more than just fishing. We shall see. We shall see. Something tells me that's not that rare. Raid captain. So that's some DLC stuff. We won't be playing the DLC stuff today. That's our storage chest. I'm guessing that's going to be empty. Now we should probably... We should probably walk around and explore all this to figure out, but I'm guessing all of it's pretty empty until it's not empty. So let's go do some fun stuff and then come back and see if by the time our stream is over, if we can make this place a little more, a little more festive, a little more fun. Select a mission. All right. Gotcha. All right. So this must be the map. There goes some DLC islands. That's cool. That's locked. Where do we go? Where are we? Adventure Hub. Tower. Squid Coast. It seems like that's where we want to go, right? Oh, no. It's checkmarked. I guess we want to go to Creeper Woods. Creeper Woods it is. Start mission. We got this. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of creepers. Those little, little armless green things. Shout out to Fort Leonard Wood for the cup. Thank you very much. By the so, funny story about that. Not really funny story. It's a true story about that. Are now enemies of the Illager Empire. Somewhere in these this is... We, we did a, uh, a B-Fit thing. I went up there with Roy Montez. Best to ever do it. Uh, I went to Fort Leonard Wood and, uh, and we did some images. live feeds from there There's no and uh, what dreadful doom got that cup. Will I appreciate it immensely. Friends. It's a good cup. I've had ice in it all day. Still there. Yeti's not the only one that does it. Yeti's not the only one that can do it. Uh, speaking of Roy, um, after the stream I, I uh, encourage you all to, to scroll down just one more little bit and you'll be able to see... Uh, 
Roy, he was at Fort Campbell today doing the uh, uh, Fort Campbell Memorial Day Challenge. Uh, so check that out. Give him some love. Oh, too easy. Too easy. Oh, no. Shouldn't have done that. Okay. One thing about this game is this... Uh, Everything's so uh, everything's so bright, and I think it's I can interact with it. And apparently, that is uh, that is just not the case. Do we have a map? There we go. There's a map. Let's go back here and check out. Ryan was in Aspen. Aspen in May. That sounds that sounds beautiful. Oh yeah, Tenth Mountain. So, uh, so funny story. I uh, Tenth Mountain is actually when I was in the army, that was my division at Fort Drum. Uh, so I'm a bit partial when anything that comes to uh, anything that has to do with Tenth Mountain, climb the glory to the top. I am uh, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. All right, so we got some armor boys. The uh, okay, it's not too bad. You just gotta stay away from. Them. Now I know this may seem uh, pretty easy at the moment, but I will I will assure you that things uh, things tend to heat up pretty quickly. So we're gonna kite a little bit. I still want those tenth mountain. There's a there's a uh, I forgot who it was, but there's an artist that made a uh, a pair of. Uh, Mountain skis that we saw at uh, I think we were at Copper. I think we were at Copper Mountain when we saw those skis. I mean, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna fall down a mountain, I might as well look cool doing it. All right, a little a little free damage from a distance. We got plenty of arrows, I think. Put them all within one hit. There we go. So guys, every week we're here at on Tuesdays at 7 Central Standard Time. Um, I'm just kind of looking around at games that, that look fun to play, but um, if you guys have any suggestions or want to try a, any particular genre of game or, or I mean, anything at all, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, to playing uh, Mario Strikers. I'm a, uh, I'm a big soccer guy. And uh, Nintendo knows how to make a make a make a decent video game. So I remember the uh, the original Strikers game on the, uh, on the GameCube, and uh, I loved that game. Uh, it didn't get a lot of love, so I was actually pretty surprised when they uh, when they decided to, to make a new one. Um, so that should be coming out sometime in June, I believe. So we're not far away from that. So I look forward to playing that on here. But we're playing this today on uh, the Xbox Series X. Um, and this, is, this, this version of uh, Minecraft Dungeons is actually available on, uh, on Game Pass. Which, I don't know if you guys remember me talking about this a few weeks ago, you can actually use your Military Star card to uh, purchase uh, digital gift cards and subscriptions um, on shopmyexchange.com. Uh, just in the search bar, type in uh, gift cards and make sure you hit the uh, email delivery receipt um, in the top left corner and then all the subscriptions will come back. That will be the, for the PlayStation, Xbox, Game Pass, PlayStation Network, uh, Nintendo eShop. Uh, I believe they have other games too like Apex and uh, Google. And there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. But So if you're uh, looking for a way to get um, subscriptions and you want to use your star card for that, um, there's definitely a way to do it. So, like I said, this game is, uh, I don't want to quote you and tell you how much it is because it's different different places, but like I said, you can play this right now for, I say for free, you have to have Game Pass, which is a really good deal if you want to play a bunch of different games. And I believe Sony is about to, uh, or they already have, Sony has their, uh, their answer to Game Pass as well. I have not been able to check that out just yet, um, but maybe that's something we can do on stream. We can check out uh, Sony's, new, uh, Sony's new game subscription service and go through it. And compare a little bit. Probably won't be that fair because Microsoft has been uh, pretty successful over the the last few the last few years building this up. But you know what? Sony's kind of uh, Sony holds a pretty 
special place in my heart, so I'm sure they'll, they'll do just fine with it, so. Hey, Dana. How are you? I mean, there's no point. There's no, there's got, we're gonna do it. We shouldn't have done it. I felt bad, for, I feel bad for doing it. I thought maybe he'd give us something, but I should have known. Now we just have to live with that guilt. Now we just have to live with that guilt. All right, let's just mosey on over here this way. Okay. Now I do know enough about Minecraft to know what that guy's gonna do. So we'll just keep moseying down here and exploring a little bit. Oh no, that was that was a mistake. Oh, we can roll. We can roll. Okay. That's not a problem. Where was that? Where was that tutorial? Where are you from, Dana? Let's see, problem solving. Problem solving. Not a problem. Not a problem. Those guys need to be had from a distance. Let's see what we got. We got some armor. That, that has to be. That has to be helpful. And then we have a level. I don't want to. Yeah, we'll wear it. And then we'll come over here. Um, how many? How... So we only have. You know, we'll, we'll save it. We'll save it. DFW. I'm familiar. I'm familiar with the area. Very Zelda y. Gotta smash the pots. Got some arrow bundles. Alright, now we'll leave. I think we can turn the map off for the time being. No, not this way. There we go. See? See, we learned something. We learned something. Radio silence, it's okay. Kiting them, kiting them. Best ever do it. That was actually a pretty smooth little uh, encounter right there. Not mad at it. Let's go up here. Smash the pots. Such anarchy. I would say that I need to slow my roll with these, uh, with these, with these arrows, but they keep just throwing them at me, so I'm gonna keep using them. Let's 
concerned with these uh with these fighter guys. They don't seem so bad. The creepers are the ones that'll that'll run up on you. The creepers are the creepers are more of a concern to me at the moment, so okay. Well, we might as well walk across the bridge to see if anything happens, then we'll head on up. That's the one thing about these types of games, is that you always feel like uh, you always feel like you're missing out on something if you don't check out absolutely every little every little corner. So, anybody, is anybody in chat have any uh, interesting Memorial Day plans this weekend? Did anybody have more parties um, than I had? Inquiring minds want to know. Ryan was in Aspen. I know that. Kill the cow. It happens. What a treat. He's not watching the stream, but I just got a random text message from uh, my old commander. Always good. Always good. So I got some sheep. All right. They just come out of nowhere. I think I need a new weapon. I don't know if this, even though I've already been upgrading all this. Looked hairy, but we're fine. So remember, um, I just want to remind everyone if you're just now getting here, there's some fantastic links in the uh, description and also in the comments that Shelly's going to uh, going to drop some TVs, some computers, laptops, headphones, um, some GoPro, GoPro accessories, some cameras. Uh, so please, please, like I said. Uh, it's worth checking out those links uh, every week. We pull, uh, we can't put every single deal that um, that we have, but I try to go through there and we uh, we pick out the best ones and we put them in the and give you a little link list. Give you a little link list every week. Something to something to get your get your mind going. Especially like I said, Father's Day is just around the corner. Hint, hint, hint. Um, so everyone, be like Stan and go get you a brand new OLED TV. Be like Stan. You gotta be a, you gotta be a little you gotta be a little sneaky. You gotta be a little. What is this? Wolf armor. Uh, yes, please. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I don't even care. I mean, I'm guessing it's obviously better, but even if it wasn't. That drip is good. Woo. Best ever do it. And what kind of adventures would we be if we didn't go through and smash all the pots at the end of killing all the bad guys?
Okay, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. So also, I want to encourage everyone again. If you're just now tuning in, if you uh, are, if you do not have an account at shopmyexchange.com, but you have served in the military, please go to shopmyexchange.com/vets, get verified. Um, it's real, real, real easy, um, and it's a benefit that you earn. So it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a benefit that is uh, true to my heart, and it, it, it means a lot. I did 11 years in the in the service and got out. Um, so without that, um, without that um, veterans online shopping benefit, I wouldn't have a tax-free option. But but now I do. So, and if you do have an account, um, and you got grandfathers, grandmothers, or friends, or anything that, that don't have that account or didn't know that they have a tax-free uh, a tax-free shopping benefit, then please let them know. It's really easy to remember. Remember, stay with me. Shopmyexchange.com or slash vets. So. Head on over there and get verified and get to shopping. Get yourself something nice. You deserved it. What's up, Roy? Roy Montez in the flesh, everyone. Oh my goodness. There he is. Miss you so much, Roy. Feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Well, no, let me put it this way. I feel like you haven't seen me in forever. I feel like I've, I've seen you doing the doing the, doing the 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 be fit workouts. So I feel like you you just haven't you just haven't been you just haven't been able to see me. We need to remedy that. So we're feeling we're, we're free and visit. I mean, none of this is too terrible at the moment. I think we're holding it down pretty good. We got our wolf's mask on, so we're uh, we got we got a little swag. Don't. We're going. Oh, I see what you're doing. I know. Always, always kill the guys that have something that are buffing the other guys. You gotta get them first. Diablo 1, 2, and 3 taught me anything. And to be honest with you, they didn't teach me much of anything. But they did teach me that. In video games, the guy has a line going from him to the party and kill the guy. Do a quick little heal. I mean, I know this is going to get harder, but I feel like we're, uh, I feel like we're rocking it. Oh no, I didn't even see him. Didn't even see him. Saw that one. Okay, I see. I see. They're, they're starting to throw a little bit more at you. I mean, we're on, we are, we are, I think we are on the first level, so I don't think I should be too cocky about how things are going. Try a little of that. Try a little of that. And the level? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Let's go up here a little bit. So now, didn't I? 
All right, so reduces the cooldown time between uses of our artifact or using a healing potion causing an explosion at your pet's location. Deal. I think we're just gonna... We're just gonna keep upgrading this sword. It seems to be treating us pretty well. Don't forget these evil pots. Oh no, there's two of them. stairs in video games man. we have not figured that out yet these villages are free I mean the of the illages all thanks to you. I mean I'm not gonna say that that was flawless but I mean it weren't bad it wasn't bad so uh, we got no player we got a little bit of damage taken we got a whole lot more damage dealt we got 83% of the chests I wonder where they are I thought we explored pretty well I guess we missed one. And you know, you all know from Hot Wheels, I'm a sucker for loot boxes. I'm a sucker for loot boxes. You hear distant howling as you hold the tasty bone in your hand. Tasty bone. Okay, well, that seems that seems fairly lame. Let's do it again. Creeper Woods. Cacti Canyon. Redstone mines. Pumpkin pastures. I mean, we gotta go to the Soggy Swamp. My power is three. Yeah, yeah, let's do Soggy Swamp. Get these little big nosed wizard guys. See what they're all about. A coven of wicked witches <sighs> live at the heart of the sinister swamp. They conjure up all manner of brews to empower the arch illager mm. and his ever growing army. Minecraft if you don't find lore. And defeat How those intriguing. Witches, the illagers How intriguing. will be unstoppable. But tread carefully. The swamp is home to many horrors. Doesn't that sound like Melisandria from uh, from Game of Thrones? Like the night is uh, dark and full of terrors. That wasn't her name. Was her name Melisandria? Or was that the other one? It's been a minute. I've slept since last time I've seen Game of Thrones, but you know what I'm talking about the the red woman. It sounds like her voice. Oh god. How do I throw that? Okay, fair enough. Whoop. Whoop. Hey Reagan, what's going on? How are you? Michigan? How's that weather in Michigan? I bet it's beautiful. I bet if there was ever a time to be in Michigan, it would be like right now. Look at these little guys. Alright. Might as well eat it. We're not coming back. Caught him sleeping. Caught him sleeping. Oh. See, these guys. I knew they were. Gonna... What is this? Missed a little spot back here. Oh no. As soon as I look down to. Okay. Alright, alright. 
As with most little detours, they amount to absolutely nothing. But that one time, that one time we find it, or we find something of value, then I'm going to make it's all going to be worth it. Okay, so we can go this way. I mean, why not go the route with the skull and crossbones? Okay, 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 okay. That's what I'm talking about. I had to use it at some point. Sometimes, sometimes in video games like this, where there's like a cooldown or a limited, limited I, like use items, I get this like too good for you or too good to use syndrome. Or I'm just afraid to use stuff. If anyone's ever played uh, Final Fantasy, and, like you end the game, or Final Fantasy VII, and you end the game and you have like 7,000 healing potions because you never wanted to use them because you thought one day, one day you're gonna need 7,000 of them all at once. So don't be like me. Use the tools at your disposal. That dude sleeping on the job. He was just standing there. Destroy the brutes. Yeah. I can do that. I can do that. Got a I mean, this guy doesn't scare me. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I get it. I get what they do. That's slightly scared. Slightly scared. Or the brew. That's been destroyed. Yeah, man. Okay. There's a brew. There's a brew. Solves that problem. All right. There's a brew. Okay. Now I see how I need. To, I'm only. I'm down to like 22 arrows. Now I see. I got some more. I got some more. I was like, uh, now, now I'm starting to like. I shouldn't be so willy nilly with them. Okay. Another brew somewhere? No. There it is. Now we find the cauldron. I'm sure there's some Minecraft story reason for why we are finding these things and destroying these things, but you know what? For the time being we'll just we'll just pretend like it's just it just has to be done. I guess we're going in. Looks like we've taken care of most everything out here. Heading in. All right. I really should be hitting these guys. Oh, no. Just go, just, just stop. All right, we did. It. My good night. All right. Evocation robe. Let's heal up a little bit. This one there. Swiftness. Okay. Okay. Let's go down here a little bit. Alright, 
let's see what we got here. So this is an armor of seven. What is this one at? Tw plus 21 health, 20% weapon damage, health pumps. Okay. No. No, we don't need that. Summons a wolf to aid you in battle? Uh, definitely. Ten to twenty, ten to twenty-five. Uh, yeah, but that does something with our pet. Okay, cool. We're starting to build a guy. We're starting to build a guy. Let's see what this little pet does. Oh, master's bow. Hold on. Here we go again. Oh yeah. Just bet. There we go. Okay. There we go. Let's see what this pet does. I'm curious. Grab like a little dog. We gotta go all the way around. Okay, fair enough. I hope it's black and white, and then I'll name it Ranger, which is the name of my dog. I have a, uh, I have a little mini Australian Shepherd. He's the sweetest dog in the world. He's just so high. You know what? That's close enough. That's close enough. Shouldn't be much. Okay. Let's get out of here. So like I said in the very beginning, um, this is a great, great title. Um, if you're looking to play something um, with, with your kids and they're super into Minecraft and that's just nothing you can really, really stomach because that takes just... That takes a lot out of a person to become good at Minecraft. Um, this is a great, this is a great in between. Like I said, it has great mechanics. Um, like I said, it's more like a, it's like a, it's like a really accessible um, Diablo type game. If you don't know what Diablo is, it's like an isometric game, but it's just got a lot of numbers being thrown at you. But these seem to be simplified down, and and the stats seem to be um, pretty simple to understand. Um, so I would, if you're looking, this is definitely a, uh, I'm not going to say it's like a good intro into games. I'm saying it's probably a step above that. But if you are looking for something um, to play with uh, kids that you're not worried about, you know, the, the, the content and the topic of the game, this is a great one to start with, I would think. But I'm going to need, I'm going to need this dog to start doing some stuff. I'm going to need it to start doing some things. Right now, right now it seems like it's just following me around. Now go, do something. I'm gonna watch you. There you go. Good job. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Let's go this way. Come on. Get him. Do anything. Thank you. No, don't. All right. I don't know if this dog is the one. I don't know if he's the one. I need this dog to impress me a little bit. find uh, the Minecraft version of the Dog Whisperer. And 
know that's annoying. I, if I wasn't streaming right now, I would probably play this whole game with the map on, but I know how annoying that is. So I won't do it, but I do have to click it so I don't get lost. Oh. Oh, okay. Some TNT that I don't need. Perfect. I hear him barking, but he's not telling me where to go. Alright, let's just follow our, uh, our nav points. Okay. I see him. Where are we going? Where are we going? Keep going down? Oh, yep. I guess you're right. I will say this dog's hanging around for a lot longer than I thought he was going to. Alright, we need to slow our roll with these arrows. We got 11. I'm just, I'm arrowing everything. Miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be here. Oh my gosh. As I'm saying, I shouldn't be arrowing anything. I continue to just arrow everything. Yeah, we could dodge. How about we try that? Did the dog do it? Did the dog do it? I think that was, I think the dog got the kill shot on that one. Good job, dude. Good job. Good boy. You're not useless. You're not useless at all. Alright. Oh, what, what are we doing? We don't do that anymore. We're more, we're responsible adults. We are responsible adults and we take care of our arrows. Yes. Arrow saved is an arrow earned. Thank you. I feel like the dogs are getting better. Twofer, little chest. Probably don't want that hunting bow. Maybe we can sell it to somebody or something. I'm guessing they probably have some kind of merchant. Doggo, don't play. He's getting better now, Ryan. He's getting better. He's getting better. So it appears we need to go back this way. These levels are surprisingly long. I don't know why I say surprisingly. They are long levels. Now, games like this are meant to be played. Like, the levels, I believe they're randomly generated. So, I believe, like, you may come to this level again, and it will be laid out completely differently. So, each time you play this level, um, guys will be in different places, and the, the, the layout of the map will be different and such. So... We're going to continue on our path. I mean, we are looking pretty baller with our dog and this dog mask. We do at least, if nothing else, if nothing else, our swag has like a theme to it. I like it. Do it. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> I am the worst. All right. So we've traveled and we made it back here. There goes some arrows. Now we can be a little more irresponsible with our decisions. 
There we go. Let's go ahead and level up. I mean, I feel like... Has a 50% chance to spawn a circular area that heals you and all allies within that area. I mean, that seems pretty cool. I mean, we fire so many irresponsible arrows, it's bound to pop. Some little, so we can at least heal ourselves in our irresponsibility. Oh, I see. Okay. That pays out pretty good. I'll take 50%. Nope. Alright, new rule. New rule. To do some schmacking on the guys that can't, that don't have range, and then we can fire our arrows at people that do have range. So we smack the close up guys. And we arrow, we arrow the far away guys. I mean, that just seems, that seems like it should be a no brainer. the chest back there but we're about done with the stream so we're gonna try and finish this level real quick hope everybody had a great time Get some more arrows so this is a like I said these games like this are a lot of fun uh, great chance to play games and spend some time with your kids and you know let them watch you play Minecraft for a little for it for a change right seems like kids are watching somebody else play Minecraft all the time this is a great this is a great opportunity for for parents to sit back and play. Um, I have played this before with uh, Gavin a couple years ago when it first came out. We had a great time. Um, Gavin's my son, by the way, for those of you that don't know. Uh, but he is a uh, he is a he is a Minecraft. But he doesn't play Minecraft in like a traditional Minecraft kind of way. Like he likes to um, like build houses with like pools and like swimming pools in the living room and secret compartments. So, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Tell you what, guys, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this. We're coming up on the time. But again, let me sit here. Let me do a little finagling here. We appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, this was Minecraft Dungeons. Uh, it's available on Game Pass. It's also available on PS, uh, on PlayStation and uh, on, on PC as well. Um, oh, my gosh, I'm dying. Just in case. Uh, so it's also available. It's available on just about anything you want to play it on Nintendo Switch. But it is available on uh, Microsoft, on Xbox Game Pass. So again, if you want to get that Game Pass and you want to use your military star to do it, you can. Uh, go to shopmyexchange.com in the search bar. Uh, select gift card. Type in gift cards. Make sure you hit that email delivery receipt in the top left corner and you'll see all the subscriptions and, and gift cards that come that way. Also, make sure to check out those links. Uh, like I said, TVs, cameras, uh, GoPro accessories, laptops. Um, there's some Apple stuff and those Fujifilm cameras. So some great links down below. Uh, if you're verified, fantastic, and you have your ShopMyExchange.com account, um, wonderful. If not, uh, ShopMyExchange.com slash vets. Be sure to tell a veteran if, uh, if they don't know about it. Um, it's a fantastic, um, fantastic benefit and that you earned it. And like I said, I'm so glad. I hope you all had a very safe, fun uh, Memorial Day weekend. 
um, took some time to reflect on what that day actually means, um, even if it's just for even if it's just for 10 or 15 minutes. Sometimes it's important just to stop and reflect um, on all the things and all the freedoms that we have and just how we got here. So um, I appreciate everything. Uh, another great week. We'll be back here next week, next Tuesday, seven Central Standard Time. Please come back. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.